joining us on the couch, comedian, very funny comedian, Mr. Oni Perez. Big What's up, nickel. everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Internet. Yeah. Hey, Interweb. Hi. <laughs> Here's a question. You're, you're going to be doing the show, the Brazilian show, with Eric, our good That's friend. Right. I, I'm saying Eric De Silva has become a very good friend mm -hmm. of the show. He's been retweeting, tweeting. Good guy, very good. Love guy. Eric De Silva. You're gonna be doing Absolutely. the first New York City Brazilian comedy show with De Silva. Absolutely, it's called the. Uh, I gotta write because it's uh, in Brazilian, <laughs> <laughs> not an actual language. <laughs> it's a uh, Verde Amarelo and hysterical. Yes, it's and uh, that's uh, it's coming up on uh, September seventh. There you go, nine p.m. at Characters. We're gonna be going to that. New I York think. City, dope man. It's gonna be fun. I am not Brazilian. I'm Cuban, but I was the only other minority <laughs> <laughs> that he could find. That's how racist he is. <laughs> He's like Cuban, Brazilian. Yeah, you're close enough. <laughs> Fuck it. Just come on. Let's go. Uh, did you guys hear about the what the, the the German weightlifter guy? Did you guys see this fucking pictures? Mm -hmm. I did not. No. This German weightlifter over in the Olympics was lifting four hundred and fucking gabillion pounds, and he dropped it on his head. Oh, he some Holy pictures shit. of it. It's like a little like flip his skin is going to explode any minute. That's what he probably felt like. <laughs> There's a picture. There it is, falling on his oh. neck, <laughs> right on his fucking neck. There was like some audio. I tried to YouTube it. It's like impossible to get a legit video out of YouTube. Here, I got, I got it. Do you? Your muscles get a really tight feeling. <laughs> Here, look at that picture. Oh! His whole body. It's, oh my god! He's got one, two, three, four, five plates on both sides and the bar. And the it's plates are forty-five uh, pounds, right? And it's take, com take that pudding head. <laughs> <laughs> he was on German. <laughs> oh, the German. It's a little payback for nineteen forty-four. <laughs> <laughs> it fell on sein head. Yeah, they pulled. They pulled it off YouTube, man. I was trying to, and then every YouTube video you try to find, it's like some jerk off. Like, hey, did you see that German guy drop weight on his head? <laughs> He's just like screaming at the fucking cameras. Like, Doesn't hey, that suck? Oh, it's so much weight. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, the human should not be lifting that much weight. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, we get it. You're fucking strong. What is Stop that? Stop it. It's 180 pounds on each side. 180 <laughs> pounds plus the bar is 45. Blaze at the movies wants to know, is this guy dead? No, he's alive. What? He was fine. He got up. He was like, mein Führer! <laughs> and then also some... Wow. He, started, he started burning books after <laughs> he was dead. And then I, was, I was watching the men's gymnastics, and the German guy who had this fucking shave side, complete German quaff, oh. right? He got silver, and afterwards he was just like flexing. He was just like, yo! Yeah! Like screaming, uh, and the guy from Israel came up to him and hugged him, and he was just like, "Oh, you are so in fear." <laughs> <laughs> he, he was like, "You, you really diffuse the situation." Oh, <laughs> this, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> is there something, is there something wrong with this? Yeah, uh, my Fiora is rolling in dust grave. <laughs> it was so. He's like, he hugged him. He's like, "Oh, yeah." Look at That's Usain nice. Bolt. He's a fast. He man. won again. Yeah, he's always two hundred meter. Yeah, fast dude. Go. The uh, Ob uh, Obama. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> they all claim Jamaica. Every one of them has a house in the United States. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, where's like Jamaica? Do you live? Uh, nowhere. He's I don't like know. a you, god in Jamaica. They fucking adore that man in Jamaica. Well, who else do they have? Bob Marley's been dead for thirty something years. <laughs> right. Uh, it's either him or Ziggy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Barack Obama uh, apparently was on the phone with the Turkish prime minister, whatever the hell he is, right. and he was holding a signed autograph bat signed by H uh, Hank Aaron. There's a picture of him sitting there on the phone holding awesome. the bat. And the Turkish government is kind of up in a tiff about it because, like, why is he holding a bat? It's kind of an aggressive thing for him to be doing. Wow. So they want to retaliate and either be holding, like, uh, something of their own as when they're on the phone with him next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just a plate of hashish. <laughs> That'll show. Uh, uh, fuck. A bundle of opium. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna have a shimmy tar. <laughs> oh shit! How did you? But how is it offensive? Ah. I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see how that could be offended. He's just sitting there holding a the bat. Right. It's like he's fucking hitting it against his hands like fucking Turkish. <laughs> <laughs> he's just it's like, Hank Aaron's bat. Right. He's just calmly sitting there holding a the bat. It's a piece of history. Yeah. Right. I don't see the problem with it. Nah. He, I mean, maybe he was trying to hit a home run for international politics <laughs> with Hank Aaron's bat in his hand. You know? 
The same way you're trying to score one for the white guy with Barack Obama's hairline. (laughs) 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 Videoing it to the bar. He's like, hey, Dorn, let me get the Barack. Let me get get the Obama. (laughs) Hey, hey, Dorn, let me get the Obama. Let me get the Obama. Please. Right right across the top. Please. Nice and tight. Oh, that's great. Looks great. As we discussed earlier, Camden, New Jersey was voted the number one most dangerous place. Whatever. <laughs> no, keep going. It's you funny. think Obama would have got elected if he had a high top fade? <laughs> like kid in like play? Kid in play? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. He would have gotten my vote. I don't vote, and he would have gotten my vote. I would have voted for him. Oh, my God. High top fade? Uh, oh, man, absolutely. Great, dude. The, the Ola Racer head? Oh, man. You don't absolutely. Dude, there, there is a kid. In Brand, uh, where my wife's parents live, okay. that has that haircut. Oh, it's, it's back in style fucking now. Fucking incredible! Well, with the, with and he walks around with a ghetto blaster. Dude, every day at work, I'm in the hood. I I see at least two of those haircuts. Oh, it's great! Face. They're amazing. They're making their way back. Yeah, good for I, them. I'm man. happy about it. It's the hipster way. If I had hair like them, I would do the same thing. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that's a good. So look. you're trying to tell me that kid is a blipster? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> a black hipster? Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> A blipster. A blipster. <laughs> I mean, he does kind of. Uh, he, he dresses. What? He dresses like DJ Jazzy Jeff in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So I think that might be a black hipster. Oh my god. So Camden, New Jersey, was voted the number one worst place on the fucking planet. Whatever. No, not Camden. Leaving the Deftones concert, uh, which you now play bass for. Fuck I yeah. I got completely. I, we got lost in Camden, New Jersey. It's a fucking shithole, dude. It's disgusting. Really? It's really uncomfortable. We were driving. It was like this is it. It, re- it looks like Rio de Janeiro. It's to- holy shit. <laughs> that is dangerous, guys. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't I, know what's scarier, that or fucking Newark. It, it's all everything's boarded up. Like it was like no people live there. It's just everything is boarded up. There's just cars and flat tires. Every it's really unsettling. It's like the Bronx in the eighties. Yes. <laughs> where where is Camden in relation to civilization? It's right on. On the precipice of Pennsylvania, right yeah. there. It's like at the, the 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 end of Jersey. Oh, I yeah. love it. It's okay. right there. Did, it's like ten minutes outside of Pennsylvania. Did you see any so, uh, Devils, Flyers, fucking uh, beef on walls and stuff? No, no. Was I drove to Philly? It's always saw like on the way down in Jersey. Mm-hmm. All you see is devil signs and flyer signs. Flyer signs. No, there was a mu- there was much huge. Time. I did go to Jim's Steakhouse and had a, a delicious cheesesteak. Jim's is awesome, bro. Jim's, Jim's is very underrated. Hmm. So underrated. It was packed. It was like two o'clock in the afternoon. It was really? packed. Everybody always talks about Patch, Geno's. If, no one ever brings up Jim's for for. for for the price point, Pat's is definitely overcharged. Jim's is Absolutely. amazing. Did Fantastic. you try all of them? I, I've had Pat's. I haven't had Geno's, but I did have Jim's. Guess what? I had none of them because you refused to bring you, me one he home. He sends me a text message. Like, Dude, bring me back a cheesesteak. I was like, no, I have no problem picking up a cheesesteak. It's going to sit in a car for I would have risked diarrhea to hours. try an actual Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, cheese I got steak. no problem with that. I would have risked <laughs> I was actually, I really wanted to go and get the grease truck. I've had that before near What's Rutgers. That? The grease trucks near Rutgers where they have like chicken cutlet, mozzarella stick, french fries. Oh, the fucking, um. The grease trucks. The no, Jersey Grease Truck. No, but, oh, I forgot the name of the place. There's also a restaurant it's that called has called the Quadruple that. Bypass. Is it, right. Oh, is that, is that the one that's called the Fat Bitch? Or fat Bitch, like Fat no, Darren. Fat yes. Daryl. Fat, fat Daryl. Fat, fat Daryl. Bitch, they have all those. I was going to go there, but no one wanted to stop. Wow. It's fucking... That, I've had two of those. They're amazing. Those so, are fucking fantastic. I have yet we make to our own beef jerky. jerky. We do make our own beef jerky here on the Video Brosco Show. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Black Ops 7 is going to be coming out shortly. What? And they, I just made that up. Oh, Black so. Ops 2 is coming out. And they released some <laughs> multiplayer video. Uh, Mike, do we have the video of this? I'm not excited about it. I want to see it. I'm excited. It's the future, Rock. <laughs> Maybe the president has a high top fade by the year 2118. <laughs> We're gonna invade motherfucking Russia. Oh, what was that? Electrical yeah, it's like some type of electric thing that throws everybody for a loop. Ah, oh, this game looks great. The graphics. It are looks amazing. the same as every other oh, Call of it's Duty. A, it's, it's a little bit cleaner. It's a little cleaner. Oh, that stupid sight. That's how you know you're That's addicted when you're just smoke. like, no, it's just cleaner. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, what does that mean? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, it's awesome. Oh! Stop. This this looks I'm ridiculous. I'm buying. I liked Black Ops the first one, man. Yeah, absolutely. 
I hated it. What? I thought it was one of the worst games I ever played. What? Absolutely. Are you a fucking... Absolutely. Yes, I am a dick. It was absolutely one of the worst <laughs> games I ever played. Look at that. That's your sense. fix for you. <laughs> Whoa! I want it. I want it. I don't know, I man. It. That's pretty badass. It's like a the dude hide behind the shield with a, with a fucking turret. The sound, I mean, in my headphones, it sounds amazing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It sounds like, oh. Cran what was it, Camden? <laughs> <laughs> we actually have audio from Camden, New Jersey. <laughs> it's like middle of the day there. That's it. It's 2 o'clock on a Wednesday. <laughs> Vin left That's where the kids left out of school. A lot of you kill the video. Vin left his voice recorder on in his pocket in the parking lot yes. of the concert. There you go. <laughs> sounds good. You can kill it, Mike. Well. I get it. I want it. I don't know. I'm not impressed. It, it has future guns. Though. It does have future like guns. Like the XM8. I don't like that. Who are they fighting Why? this time? Is because it still? It's like guns. future Russians, I think. Oh, we're back it's to the Russians. We're back to Russians. <laughs> it's Russians are. It's, it's the Cold World too. Right. It's Russians or communists. It's, uh, uh, it's Russians or communists. It's Russians or Nazis. It's always one of the two. Right. Yeah. No. But then we get to the Middle East for a little while. There? Yes. I yeah, think we, we did. Had a little fun there. Like, look, we PR is not good with that. You know, we got <laughs> we got Obama in there now. Let's cut it back. Let's get back to the Russians. Let's kill white people again. That way, nobody gets offended. <laughs> but but in the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anything of color. Let's not do that for a little Let's while. Let's avoid that for a little while. Yeah, exactly. No one likes communists. Let's go after Denmark. Right. No one likes Nazis. You're always, you're always safe with Nazis. Absolutely, man. I enjoy killing white people in video games. Love it. Too. They're fucking horrible. Oh, white people best. suck. Oh, they're the worst, dude. Yeah. I say it every day. I hate white people. Oh, uh, white people are terrible. <laughs> white people I had to suck. do a focus group today. I hate everybody. I just hate everyone. <laughs> it's true. I hate everybody equally. Focus groups are fun. No. No, it was a bad one. We can't. I know we can't discuss it. I we, can't. We, I had to sign something. Like, I was like, Carmen, we could. He's like, we can't discuss it. We can't discuss it. There were lawyers. Dude, you know, that we can't place discuss was it. crawling with lawyers. There was even Italian lawyers, which oh, means they won't, they won't sue me. They'll break my kneecap. <laughs> so you talk about this. You got a bigger problem than a lawsuit. Don't mention Cheetos. <laughs> Outside of this building. <laughs> you caused me and my associates a great amount of disrespect. <laughs> you mentioned fiery sauce. <laughs> Anywhere outside this region, only in Camden, you talk about that. <laughs> I got people there. Don't you bring up Cool Ranch shells <laughs> or anything? Because we got a serious issue. We I did one. It was it was a dope focus group. They gave you pizza. Oh, nice. A check, and all I do is play a video game on an iPad. Nice. It's like fucking. They're like, uh, we'll give you a hundred dollars. We'll pay you in pizza. Checks and soda, and you're sitting in a room playing a video game. I was like, "This is the why don't I do this for a fucking living?" I, I did a focus group for the original Bioshock before it came out. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the don't talk about it, Carmen. Uh, this is <laughs> five years ago, I'm sitting in the room screaming about how good this game is going to be, and everyone else is like, "I play bad, and usually, yeah." I'm like, "Come on, what the fuck is wrong? This game looks amazing." <laughs> everyone sitting there was going, "No, nah, I'm not going to buy this. this. Looks stupid." I wasn't a big fan of Bioshock. Bioshock was awesome. It, it had a Awesome. It had a very uh, a very underground following. It was a very niche following. Awesome. You get telekinesis powers, Vin. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. You get that in fucking Skyrim, too. Fuck Skyrim. What? <laughs> How dare you? No. Are you a big uh, video game player, Oni? No, I, I stopped at uh, Splinter Cell. That was it. I like really? that one-man player. But no, nah, dude, I used to have a roommate that used to play, like, fucking... Call of Duty like that shit was real life. Yeah. Like it's I walk in, it was banana. It was like that sound you guys are extreme, like he would put everything in surround sound and I would just walk in his room and it'd be dark as shit. <laughs> <laughs> he had a whiteboard that looked like he was writing football plays. Yeah, on. But like and he would just cause he had all the weeds, so I would go in there to get the weed. Right, right. <laughs> and he would be like, Joe, just shit down, sit down right now. I can't fucking deal with this shit right now. And I'm like, dude, what's going on? He's like, I'm at war. <laughs> well, I'm like, with what? Your dignity? Your shirt's off. <laughs> you have potato chips on your stomach and you're sweating. <laughs> what war are you fighting right now? <laughs> you don't <One> understand, man. <laughs> A war with your parents to get your shit together? <laughs> <laughs> At war not to get a 0.0, .0 GPA. <laughs> Holy shit, it was the best. You know, you know you need to get your shit together when you have orange Cheeto fingerprints on your video game oh, that's controllers. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nothing would get me more angrier than something like that. <laughs> Dude, I'm just hating. I really the only thing I like about Splinter Cell is that you can just sit in a corner for a little while while I ate nachos. <laughs> and, then, and then get back to the game. You hear the microwave <laughs> beep, you're like, gotta find a corner. Exactly. You'd have to stop shit. But once they 
stopped. I tried to play Call of Duty for like a second, and I was like, start dead. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what happens. I, and I, I get really angry. So I get fucking game! And then I'll play it for like 20 <laughs> minutes. And I'm like, fuck, I'm not playing anymore. I'm done playing this game. It's I'm funny to listen new, to. And then, you'll, and then I'm like, I want, I want to play Call of Duty again. And I'll put it in, and I'm like, this is why I don't fucking play! This is why I don't play! <laughs> it's fucking so frustrating. This kid in Columbus, Ohio, actually just recently, he played for four days straight or 14 hours. played for some ridiculous... Four days straight Xbox Marathon playing Call of Duty, wow. and he like passed out, had a whole fucking guy what rushed was it, to the hospital. XP weekend, I guess so. He's fucking dehydrated. They said, yeah. Holy wow. shit! Yeah, his dad the whole way to the fucking hospital is just yelling at him, "Fag, get out of your room!" <laughs> <laughs> I do get some That's pussy, what dude. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? You fuck up. <laughs> That's the default part of the show, the fucking sh game. Your mother's was the last pussy you touched. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, and on that note, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up, we'll be talking about Assassin, more video game talk with the new oh. Assassin's Creed. That looks pretty fucking sweet. Oh, man, I we want We're talking about dildo carts in Manhattan and the first NFL ref female referee. And more with Mr. Comedian Oni Perez and your phone calls, 914-595-4871 or Skype us on Zadal. And why? We'll be right back.